Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets and in this episode I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how I made this 3D sculpted conga cake along with some Rice crispy Treat maracas. So if you want to learn how I made this cake, keep on watching. So to begin, I have here a six inch uh, rum raisin cake. Now once I have a video tutorial on how I made this rum raisin cake, I will link it for you guys below. But in the meantime, any cake will do. You do not want to use box cake mix. You definitely want something that has a high butter content because this cake is going to be pretty tall and you want it to withstand um, or withhold the weight. So you want to stack up three layers of the six inches and then and dowel it. I'm using fat bubble tea straws but you can also use wooden skewers if you prefer um, and then just crumb coat it and then pop that into the refrigerator to set for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now once that's while that's setting I'm going to use 8 inch cake so I'm using three layers of 8 inch cake and one layer of 9 inch cake and so I'm going 8 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch and then another 8 inch. So in between all these layers I'm using my easy meringue buttercream. I have a recipe for you guys below if you're interested in um, making it you definitely can check it out but um, go ahead and use your buttercream and ice it completely. Any buttercream will do. Do not use any whipped cream or cream cheese filling here because it is a sculpted cake you want it to be rock hard um so you want it to be able to set in a fridge that's what i mean so pop that into the refrigerator and then once it's set go ahead and place it onto the cake now under the bigger cake i have a smaller board because you don't want to just place the cake on top of the cake you want a board to kind of um serve as like a, a plate or a support so that board is going to sit on top of the dowels that we've put in there and it's not going to go anywhere so once you're cutting into the cake you're going to kind of cut halfway through remove the board and then keep cutting that's how you would um use it so just go ahead and uh, slice it up make it or uh, shape it however you want and then once you're happy with the shape that you have you're going to insert a skewer a wooden skewer through the entire cake so that's going to go through the top tiers through the board and then through the bottom tiers and that's going to secure the cake and it's not going to go anywhere if you have to transport it or um you know move around with it now i'm using I'm using a, um, a Wilton um, icing tip and I'm going to just ice the cake completely. Again, you don't want to put too much icing on there. You don't want it to be slipping and sliding all over the place. You just kind of want to have a crumb coat um, on there. So once I am happy with how smooth everything looks, I'm just going to pop it into the refrigerator to set for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm using some white fondant that I'm going to roll out pretty thinly. And then I'm using my, um, you want a ruler or like a measuring tape or a tape measure, I don't know, however you want to call this, to make sure that you're rolling it out to the size of your cake. And then just pop that to the side and then bring your cake. You want to dampen it a little bit to make sure that the fondant is going to stick to it. And then just go ahead and stick it right on there. Don't worry about the seams don't worry about how it falls we're going to fix everything in a sec so using your fondant smoother just go ahead and press onto the fondant to adhere it to the cake and then here with the seam what I'm going to do is push it here and then using an exacto knife I'm just gonna create a perfect straight seam and then I'm going to do the same thing for the top lip removing all the excess with my exacto knife I'm going to take a pizza wheel and then remove the bottom part um, as well and then using a um, just a scrap piece of fondant I'm just going to rub it up and down onto the cake to kind of remove all the seams and all the finger marks that you see on there and then pop that to the side for a little bit I'm going to roll out another piece of fondant to um, create the top part just measure it make sure it's going to fit and then just place that on top and then just using your fingers um, or any fondant smoothers or anything you have, you're going to adhere it to the cake. And then with your X-Acto knife, you're going to cut a straight seam 
um, at the bottom. Now, once you're happy with how it looks, it is now time to decorate. Now, to um, um, paint on the cake, you could definitely use um, a airbrush machine or anything, but I found that Wilton um, food coloring worked really nicely. So I have here some copper, some ivory, as well as some black Wilton food coloring or any food coloring will do. Um, and then I'm going to dilute that with some vodka or you can also use lemon extract if you cannot use alcohol and then just mix that until you have a paste. And then with a flat brush, I'm just going to brush the entire cake. Now, if you remember my turkey cake that I made, it was kind of the same concept. The only difference is that with the turkey cake, I didn't want any streak marks. Um, um, but with this cake, I actually encourage streak marks because um, when you look at a conga or a wooded, wooden painted thing, it kind of has that um, streaky look to it. So you want to interchange the colors, go with the lighter colors, the darker colors, just kind of mi mix and match it and um, just paint all over it until you're happy. But make sure that the top is strictly ivory. You don't put any of the dark color on it because you want the contrast. Now for the board, I have just covered it in some vegetable shortening and then rolled out some red fondant and then I'm going to roll it onto it and then cut off all the excess with my X-Acto knife and then using some gum glue I'm going to make the middle sticky so that I can place my cake on top of it um, you can also use royal icing or anything that will stick your uh, cake onto it now lifting my cake very carefully now this cake is has been in and out of the fridge so it's pretty solid so I don't worry about it breaking on me I can just place it on there now to make the maracas you're just going to use some rice crispy treats um, you are going to make two balls and then two handles so it's pretty self-explanatory uh, you're going to stick the ball to the handle with a lollipop stick and then just make two of those and then put them to the side you want to put them maybe in the freezer and the fridge to set hard so once you're happy with how they look, you can go ahead and continue working on your cake. Now I have here a strip of gray fondant that I've rolled out and then I'm using a strip cutter to um, cut an inch wide um, strip. <laughs> so you just wanna cut it up and then roll it out of the way so that you can start placing it onto your cake. Now removing my cake from the fridge, I'm just gonna use some gum glue and then um, pass it or put it on top so that I can go ahead and stick my gray ribbon onto the cake and then just go ahead and stick it on. Now I wanted to line up the seam because you want to make sure that only one part of the cake is the back of the cake or the ugly part quote unquote. Um, so just go ahead and line up the seams, cut it with your X-Acto knife and then go ahead and use your fingers to press onto it and make it um, more pronounced or the indentation more visible. So once you're happy with that, you're going to use um, a smaller strip and then you're going to place it at the bottom of the conga. Again, you're just going to make sure that you're lining up the seam so that you do not have too many seams going all over the cake and then cutting it with your X-Acto knife. Now I've rolled out another piece of gray fondant and I'm using a square cutter. I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit so that it gives me a more diamond shape. And then I'm going to cut out a few um, diamonds of that gray um, fondant and then I'm going to cut each diamond in half and that's going to um, go onto the cake. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of gum glue. You could also use water if you wanted to, and then just go ahead and stick that onto the cake, maybe about an inch or so um, off the uh, top. And then making sure that you're aligned, you're just gonna go ahead and keep placing your um, half um, diamonds or your triangles.
Now once you've placed that, I am going to roll out a sausage of black fondant. I have measured it and then um, cut them all the same length. And then I'm going to kind of squeeze, like pinch the end and then make it a little bit more rounded. And I'm gonna do that for all of them and then start placing them onto my cake with some gum glue. So lining up the bottom with these uh, the triangle and then the top with the strip that I made here I'm just gonna go ahead and glue every single one of them all around the cake now once I'm happy with that I'm gonna cut out a little piece of gray fondant like a rectangle of gray fondant and I'm going to place it at the top just like so and pinch it around and I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottoms as well so just go ahead all around and everywhere that you've put a black sausage you're going to put that gray strip at the bottom and at the top Now once I'm happy with how it looks, it's time to cover my maracas. So I have here some yellow fondant and I'm going to use a circle cutter. You don't have to use a circle cutter. You could also just cut it out free handed. And I'm going to just squeeze it onto the top of the um, Rice Krispie Treat. Um, now the Rice Krispie Treat is pretty solid, so I'm not worried about it collapsing on me. And then I'm going to do the bottom or the handle with some black fondant. I'm just going to pinch the edges just like so. And then using a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut off all the excess. And then there we have it. So now with some red, I'm just going to make some decorations. And this is just a zigzag strip cutter. Um, I'm going to use it to just kind of lay across the, um, the um, maraca just to add a little bit of... A decoration and then using some gum glue I'm going to glue it on to both of them and then with my blue fondant I'm going to cut out some stars you can definitely decorate your maraca however you want um, but this is how I chose to go with this one Now I'm going to glue the maraca to the board as well as on top of the cake and then um, using just some regular gum glue I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on and then I've cut out the uh, letters happy birthday in yellow and I'm going to place it onto the board. Now I always always um, place the letters before I start gluing them because I want to make sure that I would like where it's placed before I glue it on. And then using a hot glue gun, I'm going to glue on the border. Um, and it's just a blue ribbon. And then once I am done and I like how it looks, this is how the final cake turned out. I ended up look, putting 60th in Raphael because the board kind of looked empty. But this is it, you guys. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends and family. And definitely check out my last video if you'd like to by clicking on this annotation right over there. I am on Instagram as well as on Facebook. All of my socials are at Janie Sweet. Subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of my other videos. Alrighty guys, I love you. I'll talk to you next time.